a best offer of $479.95 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh, do you guys want to see the video? I do. Oh, yeah. Look at those eyes. Ah! <laughs> hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about your big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you picked up and sold for a profit. Most of them, big money. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So these items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There is a new format now. You guys actually share your link in the comments and you tell me the info and I share it in a video just like this. So if you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, come on over and join. Go to the share, uh, the share post under the featured announcement section. It's at the top and I have share your best plush, share your best December. And I also have up right now, share your best bolo with a story. So if something unique or funny happened or how you found it was different, let us know in the comments because that should be a fun video. All right, we're going to get started here. I actually shared my bolo first and I got this vintage Avon advent calendar at the Goodwill bins. And I will tell you, my heart was racing. I saw two of these at the same time when they had just for first pushed the bin out. And I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to have those. I've got to get it. You know, and there's people on both sides of me and I got them both. I was so, so excited. This one did not have the mouse. No mouse. Sold it for $93 plus shipping. And these are definitely a bolo. Uh, a lot of people find these in brand new conditions, still sealed up. Those go for even more. So you can also sell the mouse individually. You guys have heard me talk about this one before. So it's probably no surprise unless you're new here. This one was sold by Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, who is obviously a big money bolo finder. Check out her YouTube channel for more bolo content. She said, pick this up at an estate sale last summer, paid 50, did her homework, and it paid off $1,199 on this bad boy. It is a CG Con 6D double French horn <laughs> with two mouthpieces. I will tell you from past videos that I have done that you can also sell the mouthpieces individually. Look, it's even got some damage, you guys. How crazy is that? Bolo. Here is another advent calendar. This one has the mouth. Uh, she paid a dollar at an, a church thrift store last year. She said it's the complete calendar with the mouth. Took a best offer of 110 plus the buyer paid shipping. eBay store, Timeless Treasures by Gina. Come here, pup. You want to come up here? Hey. All right. This is the smallest Bible by Thomas Nelson. This is my new puppy. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> uh, smallest Bible by Thomas Nelson, 1982 bonded leather box and magnifier. And it says smallest Bibles will bring decent bread and butter, especially if you find the one with the magnifier. Paid a dollar for it at an estate sale and sold it for $34.98. So not a huge money bolo, but if you can get it for a dollar and flip it into $35, definitely something to be on the lookout for. The next one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and she is over on Whatnot, and she brings some of the most amazing vintage jewelry I have seen to her whatnot shows. I'm like, oh my goodness. Now she did put this one on eBay, but you can't blame her. It is a Juliana D&E necklace, vintage book piece, watermelon multicolor navettes, I think is how you say it. And she said, there is a flaw. There are two dangling layers of navette hanging from flower. I think it was missing a rhinestone. Let's see. Let's look at the photos here. So this is a book piece. So she figured that out by looking at a book, a Juliana book, I guess. 
Uh, Catfield and Thrifty is incredible. Look at the back of it. It's absolutely stunning. Okay. She said, bought this at an estate sale. It was laying behind a display, missing one hanging stone, clearly disclosed and listing, took a best offer of 450. And again, this is cat feeling thrifty. And it looks like she's pointing to the stone maybe here. It's hard to even tell, right? So give her a follow on whatnot and here on eBay. My dog is flipping out right now. And if you're not on Whatnot, it is uh, a great, great platform to source on and to sell on. So come check it out. I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop. And I am Bolo Buddies, all one word over there. And that referral link is down below. This one is the firm parts, standing legs, DVD, home workout, fitness, hips and legs. Okay. So let's talk about this. Is the firm a part of the beach body? I don't think it is, but do not sell the beach body items. I don't know if the firm has any issues with Vero's. If it does, let me know down in the comments. Beach body definitely does. But she said, I found this at the Goodwill Outlet, a.k.a. the bins. I picked up about a dozen sealed exercise DVDs. DVDs. This is the third one that sold. My average cost, 133 listed uh, weeks a few, uh, maybe three weeks ago. Sold it for $20. So just a nice bread and butter uh, bolo there. But again, if it's Beachbody, don't sell it. Don't do it. Not worth it. You will get a Vero. Beachbody, they will get you. I hope I did this correctly. Took a best offer of $235. Paid $14 for the set. King bedspread in sham. Sold in two days. Could have likely held out for more money, but I thought the price was still awesome. Purchased at a local charity thrift store. eBay store is the Buffalo Girls. So $14 into $235. And it is a Wooded River King bedspread, cover, bedspread coverlet in sham. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> she is getting comfortable and just shoved my computer out of the way. And it is a wool blend. Let's see if we can look at some more pictures here. How cool is that? That's great. All right. Hi, this is Judy of Lucy and Judy. I bought six spode. Whoa. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, Lucy and Judy, I bought a bunch of books for a dollar each at the last day of an estate sale. Sold this one quickly for $49.14 after fees and taxes, including shipping. It is a welding book. Fourth edition, 1994. So you always hear about the first editions, of course. This is a fourth, of fourth edition. Nice little bolo right there. This, uh, for some reason, I missed her other one. And it is a Spode Vintage Coffee and Tea Cups for $2 online auction. Picked up nearby. Sold five so far. The latest four from Etsy store. Earned $35.96 off of these four. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I didn't pop that one up. I missed it. This took about a year to sell. Sent out a 10% off offer and sold for $427.44. Found on the last day. Last hour of an estate sale, top shelf find as I climbed over a mountain of items to grab the box on top of some shelves. Paid 30 for two Ikea bags of stuff that were so heavy I could barely carry them. Definitely a unique item as this is a rooftop mount light for fire engines or emergency vehicles. The old man picks on eBay. Okay, so this one, is it vintage? I don't know, but he sold it for big money. There it is. And this is a spotlight. So it's not like the siren or something where somebody could pretend to be like an officer. So I think this one's okay. I know you can't sell like the sirens and stuff like that. This here is Harco Blue Ribbon Professional Coin Conditioner and Preservative. One two ounce bottle. This is is amazing. This is the old man picks also, and I got to give it to him. He really found a bolo here. This is a multi-quantity bolo. This was found in a garage at a family-run estate sale. I saw the old box 
these were in on a workbench, saw that the box was nearly full and figured at the very least it could be a good multi-quantity item. There were 16 bottles in the case of 24. I had some other items and paid 20 for my trusty Ikea bag of goodies. Sold at full price for $146.88 for one two-ounce bottle. I'll have over 2,000 in sales when all are sold. Nine have sold so far. Wow. What a great pickup. That's incredible. The next item. Bought this Department 56 crinkles back in the summer at a flea market for $5 along with two others. Also $5. Sold on best offer last week for $135. I sold one of the others back in August for $100 and I have one more listed. Christmas sells all year. My store is Applebee's. No, Apple Buys. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Antique Treasures. Thanks, Courtney. You're welcome. And thank you for sharing. It is a fairy doll. Patience Brewster, definitely a bolo. If you don't know about Patience Brewster, get to know her. She has a really um, distinctive look. Once you get to know it, you will recognize it if you see it. All right. The next one is this plush monkey. Plush monkey, green ears, polka dot, dim Demdaka, Demdak, <laughs> Demdotico. I don't know how to say it. Nat and Jules for baby stuffed animal. This is a little cutie. She paid a dollar ninety nine for it at the Goodwill, and it is a plush monkey. Two and a half weeks later, accepted a best offer of forty, and I have sold this brand before, but that is a nice little profit on this little cutie. There is the tag. The next item comes from Piece of Scrap. And if you're not following Piece of Scrap, definitely check her out on eBay, uh, Poshmark. I think she's on Mercari also, not 100% sure. But you can find her on Instagram and Facebook under Piece of Scrap. And she sells a lot of clothing and shoes and she gets great money for the stuff she finds. So definitely check her out. Paid $10 at the Goodwill, sold for full asking price of $79 plus shipping on Poshmark. It's an NFL team apparel, San Francisco 49ers, full zip jacket, extra large. And that is what it looks like. This is a vintage 925 sterling silver bracelet, birds, turquoise, Mexico. It is old. This was sold by the Funky Pickle Thrifter on YouTube. And she is the Funky Pickle Store on eBay. She is incredible. If you want to learn about jewelry, Check out her YouTube channel. She is fantastic. And Piece of Scrap is on YouTube also. I don't know if I said that. Check them out, you guys. She said, I got this super cool old silver and turquoise panel bracelet as part of an auction lot. Paid $220 for eight silver bracelets and have recouped all my money. So this one is straight profit. Sold on eBay for $185. It is so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. There you go. Let's take a peek at it. And she knows jewelry. So if you want to learn about jewelry, she is also a bolo finder of other items also. Here's where it's stamped. So uh, check her out. She has great what sold videos. The next item is this Boyd's Bear. And this one comes from eBay store Leo's Treasures. It says, my eBay store is Leo's Treasures. I bought this at a local thrift store for $2.99. It is the Christmas 2009 Jim Shore Boyd's Bear plush stuffed animal. Peace on Earth. It sold for full asking price of $54.75. So it is a Boyd's Bear Jim Shore collaboration. Didn't even know they did that. Uh, Jim Shore is a bolo and Boyd's Bears, usually not a big money bolo, but they do um, bring in a nice bread and butter. And some of the plush can do okay and sell quickly. So definitely look up any Boyd's Bear. The next item, oh my goodness. This one was found by, found by chance. That's her eBay store. She said, pick this creepy beauty up at an estate sale on a bag of vintage doll heads for $8. Took a best offer of $479.95 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh, do you guys want to see the video? I do. Oh, yeah. Look at those eyes. Ah! <laughs> what? What? I did not know that was going to happen. 
Now that is creepy. <laughs> Do you love it? Would you have bought it? $479.95. That is why you put a video in your listing. Wowza. Look at it, guys. A.D. Sutton and Sons, made in Hong Kong. Would you have ever guessed? Wow. She's got the string that attaches her legs. Ah, and her head. <laughs> That's incredible. Wow. 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 That's all I got to say. Way to start the, the Bolo Buddies share post, right? Look at this. Look at this. Damaged and still sold for almost $500. That is incredible. I love this one. Ah! <laughs> Plus you find. This is a um, PDP, Disney Kingdom, Hearts Kingdom, Keyblade. I don't know what that is, but this is what it looks like. And it's a big money bolo. She said, I think I have this right now. Thanks, Courtney. I actually sold this in November, but wanted to wait the 30 days to post it to be sure it wasn't coming back. I got this in a $10 storage unit, new in package. I had no clue what it was, but paid about 10 cents for it after sorting through everything. I was so excited. This one comes from Pedlin Patrick's. She said it sold for $185 plus $20 something for shipping. It sold in about three weeks. I guess it's I guess it's for cosplay. Oh, and the person was a zero feedback buyer. All right. So I talk about zero feedback buyers all the time. You guys, a lot of people, especially before Christmas, are using Google Lens and they find your item on eBay and they will be zero feedback buyers. Now, I have had lots of success with zero feedback buyers. I do not block them. I have a whole video talking about it if you want to check that out. The next one, picked up this piece of Damaris Cotta Main Pottery at Savers for $3.20 on a Friday night. Listed Saturday morning in my store, Grist Mill Goods for $95 plus shipping. Sold within 24 hours for $76 plus shipping. Wow. I probably would have walked right past this. And that is what it looks like. That is fantastic. This one here purchased at a church rummage sale for a dollar. I only had it listed on Mercari and Poshmark for about two months and realized the other day that I needed to cross post to eBay. Sold within a few days, listed for 50 and accepted a best offer for 40 and the buyer paid shipping. It is Kiss the Space Man Skull Space Plus. I'm sorry, Plush Ace Furley Freely. I don't know how to say that. 2015 Toy Factory. <laughs> there it is. It's a plush. Cross post, cross post, cross post. Highly recommend it. I use list perfectly. They have out the auto D list now with the Pro Plus plan. You guys might want to be upgrading. Uh, you can use my Referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. I think you can also use it to upgrade. So give that a try if you're thinking of upgrading. And you can check out the Pro Plus plan and all the new features um, over there on List Perfectly. Native American Christmas Nativity with Creech Cretch Unbranded Ceramic Porcelain. I don't know if I said that right. Bought this at. Salvation Army for $1. It was solid and heavy. Sold it for $35 plus shipping. Got great feedback. This one comes from Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. So, yes, nice little bolo there. Super cute. The next item is this Vintage Dickens Collectibles Hand-Painted porcelain, porcelain Lighted Schoolhouse. Uh, she said, got a total of 20 items, including Village Houses and figures for 25 which comes to $1.25 a piece. Church rummage sale that would go half in a room for like 10 to 15 minutes every half hour or so. I have sold eight houses for between 12 and 17 each and sets of figures for five to eight. We are pig star patch on eBay, hoping to get to at least Mercari in the new year. Okay. Yes, if you're not selling on Mercari, definitely check it out. 
I do have a referral link down below. If you join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop with it. And if you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari, you get another 20 to shop. I definitely recommend cross-posting. Now, do I recommend selling these types of things? Depends. There are brands that go for big money. These she got for the right price and is making a nice profit overall. In my experience, if they are not like Department 56 or a higher dollar name brand, they are more long tail, harder to sell. But if you get it for the right price, you can make some money. I got a bunch of these in a thrift store mystery box. It was a huge box. I paid next to nothing for it. And I was like, oh, I hate these. And one of the reasons I hate them is because you got to take them out of the box, out of the styrofoam. You have to take the photos, put them back in the box. Now, they are easy to ship if they come in the original packaging. So there are pros and cons to listing and selling these. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. But most of them are not big money. This is a Jackie Austin 1996 Deva, D-E-V-A doll, Christmas lady, wicker basket, three babies. And she said, I bought two of these dolls at an online auction for $18, $9 each. This one sold for a best offer of 80, I'm sorry, 80 plus shipping within two weeks. Heidi's Artistic Abode is the eBay store. And it looks like the buyer paid shipping on that. And there it is. It's kind of interesting. She's carrying her children in a basket. <laughs> and there is the certificate. Very, very cool. Never heard of that brand. Love the little owl, of course. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will go over to the Facebook group and share one of your big money bolos so I can share it in a video like this. Thank you to everybody that shared. You're awesome. Thank you to all that are watching. You're awesome. And I hope you'll come over and see me on Whatnot. It's live. I do a lot of untanglings with jewelry. So it's fun to watch. Even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. Grab that $15 to shop, that referral link for Whatnot down below. And you don't have to spend that with me. But I would love to see you guys at a live show. It's super fun to just hang out. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. And thanks for watching.